Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Tonight we're back here with Death Battle. Tonight, we got two legendary anime swords, men and women. And we got Zoro and Zoro from One Piece taking on Urza Scarlet from Fairy Tail Guild. So yeah, we actually did see San Zoro's buddy Santi here in Death Battle, and he's won. So, let's see if Zoro can keep the trend up for One Piece, huh? So be sure to like, subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. Let's see how this battle goes. Past, present, or future, one kind of fighter has stood the test of time. The Swordsman. Yep. And today's combatants are two of the most skilled warriors to ever wield a blade. Or Noah Zoro, 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 the feared the pirate of the Straw Hat Pirates. And Urza, Urza Scarlet, Scarlet, the battle mage of the Fairy Tale Guild. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who Let's would see. win a death battle. Death battle. See who's first. Zoro. As a child, Rora Noah Zoro dreamed of becoming the greatest swordsman in the world. But mm -hmm. he didn't just enroll at a dojo. He showed up, challenged everyone, and then just sort of stuck around. That's because the uh, sensei's daughter, Kalina. Talent with a sword, but there was one person he could never quite manage to beat: his sensei's daughter, Kalina. They dueled a lot, and Kalina won every single matchup. All yep. 2001 of them. Damn, Ouch. you think you would have chosen this to termination? Despite <sighs> the constant defeat, Kuina and Zoro were very close friends. Together, they promised that someday <laughs> one of them would become the world's best swordsman. And then she fell down some stairs and died. I think it was a broken neck, like right? An unacceptable way for a master swordsman to bite the dust. No Does kidding. Especially one as strong as for world's Kuina. best swordsman, though. True. I mean, that's how I became the world's best shotgun woodcarver. Uh, After Kuina's okay. death, Zoro inherited her sword and used it to hone his skills even further. Eventually, mm -hmm. leaving the dojo Thank in you. search of the current title holder of world's greatest swordsman, Dracul Mihawk. Mihawk. But he immediately got himself lost. Yeah, that dude got a bad sense of direction. A bounty hunter and wandered around the ocean until he ran into a weird, stretchy pirate. Hey, Luffy. You mean Monkey D. Luffy, who brought Zoro yep. onto his crew of Straw Hat Pirates. I actually worked out. You know, it's always surprising. Like, out of the monster trio of the Straw Hats, Luffy hasn't appeared in Death Battle yet. Sure, we had a little cameo from him in a. Well, in one of the battles, but he himself hasn't had a battle yet. Which is kind of surprising when you think of it like that. I don't think about who should, who should he face. Hmm. It's got to be one with big appetite. If you guys got any ideas, let me know. I'm not too sure about Mr. Fantastic. Actually, would that count? I don't know any other stretchy guys in anime. That'd be a good fight for him. But if you go, let me know. Hmm. Eh, I'm pretty sure something will come up. Anyway, back to Zoro. Pretty well, since Luffy was already looking to hire him anyway. Turns <laughs> out, Zoro has quite a reputation. At this point, he was already a master swordsman, and after finding and training under Mihawk, his swordsman... Thank you to your time skip. Legendary. He created his own fighting style, Santoryu. Also called three sword, three style. sword style because he uses three swords, one in each hand, and yeah, one actually in uses Queen's sword in his mouth. That doesn't seem very safe. Oh, shut up, Wiz! Eh. Badasses don't care about safety. Regardless, with the three sword style, Zoro can perform several <laughs> unique attacks, including the Onigiri, where he strikes with all three blades at once. Or the mm -hmm. Tensumaki, where he makes a tornado. Yeah, dragon, dragon twist By swinging his swords a certain <laughs> way, he can fire compressed air projectiles toward an opponent. <laughs> like with his deadliest technique, the 1080 pound cannon. And last but not least, he knows the Kutoryu yeah, nine sword slice. style. Wait, did he just grow four more arms and two more heads? <laughs> How do you I don't think that was ever explained. It's an illusion, As but it still somehow has uh -huh. a physical presence. He's like a human slap chub with a total of nine swords. That's one hmm. way to put it. In addition to his... Sorry again, uh... Has he ever busted that out again? Like, I know there was even this lobby, but... Other than that, I can't really think of any other times he's busted that out. Then again, I haven't seen much of his fights, but... I think he stopped using it. I mean... Jeez. 
I still remember when he gave, like, Monad a really big shock with his, like, single slash. Like, it scared her so much that she couldn't reform. Like, and this is a Logia type we're talking about. Like, she had experience, and yet that one slash, like, it scared her so much she couldn't reform from her, like, Logia elemental state. She's, I mean, he's that strong. Anyway. His skills with a blade, Zoro is able to use hockey. And three legendary blades, by the way. Being possesses, so Tetsu the third, third and a blade from the blade god Ryoma. Much like I'm not kidding. Ice cream comes in three flavors, and Zoro only has access to chocolate and vanilla. Chocolate. Yeah, that feels like the only ones that's what? trained. I don't even the third know. one's One not. Flavors is observation hockey. That's yep. vanilla. Of course. Which hmm. in some ways is similar to Spider-Man Spidey Sense. Zoro can see and in the some cases of other people see the future too visible or far away and can also predict most opponents attacks then yep. chocolate everyone's favorite hockey flavor is armament hockey. Ornament. this lets him form an invisible armor around himself as protection or harden his swords to make his strikes cut through almost anything With and nullify the advantages Zoro of like devil fruit the powers like logias they've traveled the world and had a lot of weird adventures I got the Zoro and fought Pika. a literal living mountain man named Pika and sliced him clean in half. A strike yep. so powerful it didn't just cut through Pika. Yeah. It sent uh. his top half flying upward. Considering yeah. his enormous size. Normally it would be mass, too, but here it's just like been more powerful than the first ever deployed hydrogen bomb, the 11 Ooh. megaton Castle Romeo. Also, damn. Zoro's pretty damn fast. One time he moved so quickly he seemed invisible to a room full of highly trained assassins. Yeah. And when the odds are against him, he'll keep pushing himself, even past the point of bleeding out. Thus, he's powered through some incredibly intense pain. Such Here, as... watch. Cool, huh? Break a piece. Yeah, that's Luffy's pain, by the way. Holy shit! How the hell is he still standing after that? That's a good Yeah, question. that was just a After bit. A battle with Kuma, See? a bear man because this is one piece. Zoro took off through that repels all attacks near death, but also Luffy's, despite being told yeah. that doing so would surely kill him. But it just But that will is strong. Didn't. Watch. He doesn't even brag about it. What a nope. badass. Zoro Amen. is definitely the stoic badass type, but he can't do everything. He's Again, a bad sense of above all, and prefers to fight up close and personal. He also mm -hmm. has the world's shittiest sense of direction. He gets lost. He always blames there, everything about the building the map room. for him, and could never True. survive on his own without his friends. Ouch. You might think Zoro would be more of a lone wolf type of guy, but no. Much nah. like how Kuina's death spurred him on to become a great swordsman, it's his friends who keep him fighting. Amen. I set sail for only one reason: to meet you. And what is your goal? To beat. To defeat you. <laughs> Yeah, let it be known. No matter how much he falls, Sora will always stand up because he always honors himself. And Dracula, like, like Mihawk, like dismissed him. But as soon as he like saw like the will and determination, he gave him like, like a taste of what the strongest is like. Like, and even when he lost two of his swords, he didn't try to fight back. You know what he did? She's queen of sword. Did this, because as he said, a strike, a swordsman, like a strike to the back is the worst shame a swordsman can take. You know, sneak attacks and all. And you know what Mihawk did? Sliced right across the chest. Like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Let it be known. Rain or shine, Zoro will always be a badass. Definitely earned his place among the Star Hat crew's monster trio. Again, still waiting for Luffy to get his time to shine. Anyway, there's Zoro. Let's take, let's check out what Titania is taking on with Urza Scarlet. That's her name to go, I think. Urza Scarlet grew up in a small rural town called very Rosemary queen. Village. It was pretty picturesque as far as child Daughter of Rain, the dragon. On, Wiz, I'm kidding. getting a premonition. Despite everything mm -hmm. seeming perfect, something, something terrible happens. A you know where this goes. Attacked, destroyed the city yep. and enslaved the children to build a tower to resurrect their evil overlord. There. there it is. Young Dick. Urza was tortured, and while she may have lost an eye in the process, she also gained a friend, Jalal Fernandez. He actually gave Urza her last name, Scarlet, after her red hair. 
She and her buddies swore they'd escape. So Urza ended up staging a revolt and saved the other slaves thanks to discovering her latent magical powers. Unfortunately, not everyone made it out. Turns out Jalal got possessed by some spirit that made him a huge dick and she had to go without him. Oh, jeez! Fine, if you want to leave so badly, then I'm not going to stop you. But you'll have to go alone. After that Jeez. nightmare, Urza swore I think to there was someone else, but I don't remember. Protecting the innocent, and so joined the Fairy Tale Magicians Guild. Luckily for so, them, Major Forcer, to don't piss her off. Her main That's... thing is requip magic, which is basically like having an armory with you at all times without having to look yep. it around. Pocket space, magic basically. allows Urza to summon her vast array of weapons and armor at will, mm -hmm. meaning she can Spears, use double swords, swords, hammer, lances, and whatever weapon she wants, she has on hand. Ever really slowing down. And a lot of armor, Damn, too. Damn, that'd be Look useful that. for all my weapons. How many is she packing? <laughs> She's rumored Bump. to have access to as many as 100 sets of armor and 200 weapons. Nice! As far there, as armor let's goes, just make sure we just keep the track of who she has. Set. But there's also the Heaven's Wheel armor. I think that's a brand, right? She can send swords flying at people. The spiky Surf defensive sword. adamantine armor and the black wing and flame empress armors, which have wings for flying. Don't forget her giant mm -hmm. armor, which she uses with a lance, purgatory <laughs> armor, which has a lot of spikes, and uh, seduction armor. I'm not really sure Why? what that serves. Probably to make I don't know, photo shoot? I don't know, I didn't Ever do it. Ever tried to fight with an erection whiz? <laughs> Believe I'm me, good. it's not easy. Right. I well, Urza don't even claims know. her most powerful armor is the Armadura Fairy Armor, which is very pink. pink. These are fancy and all, but sometimes she doesn't even bother suiting up. If her back's against the wall, Urza equips her clear heart clothing. This enhances her speed and attack over defense, and channels all her magical energy into her katanas for a decisive blow. She can charge magic through her swords to perform all sorts of magical attacks, even mixing and matching weapons and armors to better her chances in a fight. She's also just really good at sword fighting. Actually, she's really good with a lot of weapons, including mm -hmm. hand to hand. All of this makes Urza an excellent addition oh, to the Oh, she usually sticks with swords. She quickly became one of its highest ranking mages and was the yeah, youngest member rank. to ever pass the S-Class Mage Promotion Test. An incredibly mm -hmm. difficult gauntlet only the strongest and wisest of warriors can even attempt. Speaking of achievements, she's pretty friggin' strong. Don't believe me? <laughs> well, here she is, lancing a hole through a giant floating cube. This cube was about 100 million cubic miles in volume. To punch through it, Urza's lance must have dealt about 16 kilotons of force. Hers is also fast enough to deflect bullets point blank from a flintlock well, pistol. Well, more like had more velocity distance of about than 540 miles per hour. And that's without a speed boost from her armor. <laughs> right, many of her armor that sets was clear her too. stat boosts, increasing her speed, magic, defense, etc. She mm -hmm. survived plenty of destructive blasts, including one that blew up an island. Considering that island's size, Sheesh. that's an explosion equivalent to two kilotons of TNT. So she's huh. sexy, can survive island-busting attacks, and has a shit ton of weapons? She's yep. basically perfect. Just wish she used a gun or two. Well, she may eh, have a fast she's armory, not a range but fighter. swapping them in and out requires Honor. magic, and she can <laughs> run her supply down if she's not careful. So it's just like a mana bar in those <laughs> fantasy games you always play. Exactly. Accurate. Um, though even hey. when she's out of magic, she's still quite deadly in hand to hand. You beat herself Like there. when she fought her alternate self from another parallel universe. Again, Atlas, Nightwalker. A lot less clothing. Sign me eh. up. But when you're among the best in the guild, you get the job done no matter the limits. I she will withstand for a any physical pain to protect the ones that I love. <laughs> yep, let it be known, Urza's one hell of a fighter. But, like I said, do not piss her off. There's a reason Natsu and Grey are scared of her. Like, pretty, practically everybody's afraid of getting on her bad side. Trust me. One mention of her name, and they, like, panic. Like, it, I think it was episode 5 you actually see that. Like I said, I actually watched the fairy tale anime, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Though, again, hard to say how much she's, you know, improved, but... Also, I think this is before the time skip, before anyone points it out. Remember, I think One Piece had the time skip. The fairy tale anime, I don't think, at the time. Uh, one sec, gotta check the time frame on this. Okay, six years ago, 2016... I'll say, yeah, 
I don't know. Hard to say. Well, what do you guys think, huh? Mm. Anyway, so, why don't we take a look back at this battle and see who won? The Pyro Hunter or the Titan Titania? Let's find out. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once Shall and we? for all. It's time, it's for, time a for a death, death battle. battle. Go! There's Zoro. Urza. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, lady. Could you point me in the way of the shipyard? I've been looking around for hours. Eh, sounds like you. Uh oh. What's she? Uh -huh. You're the one I'm looking for. Come peacefully, and you won't be harmed. Sorry, oh, I'm, I'm not busy. here for a fight. Maybe later. I just need to find my friend. Then we'll have so. to do this the hard way. I told you, Oof. I'm busy. Fine. <laughs> well, I guess we're doing this now. Yep. Good luck, Zoro. You're gonna need it. Yeah, definitely nothing in his experience before. <laughs> Neat trick. Neat trick. Oop. 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 Oh, Flame Emperor is coming in. Youch! Uh, Zoro. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Air Slash. I sold it. Oh. Is worse than the loss of life. Uh, it's it's not done yet, lady. Woman. What? Sorry, Urza. It's not done yet. That strength bullshit, huh? No. I think he lost I that eye during training, this. right? Bring it. I will claim this bounty for my kill, for no, my worry. strength, for my friends. Bring it on! Come on! The only one who fights for their friends. Here we go. Final strike. Oh, wow! Right down the middle for us. Up. Jeez. Yeah, she is done. Where the hell is that shipyard? Think we're going the wrong way again. Jesus, talk about a killing blow. In the past, Urza could react to projectiles flying over 500 miles per hour, but Zoro yeah, could move again, faster than the eye could see. Way too far away. U.S. Air Force tests have shown that a well-trained human eye can consistently <laughs> spot and recognize an image in 1 220th of a second. So, in huh. this case, Zoro would have had to move from point A to point B, which is about them. Them feet, in 4.5 milliseconds. That's close Dang, to 9,000 miles per hour. That's more than five <laughs> times faster than a bullet. Urza didn't really like modern caliber anyway. bullets? And there's no I mean, considering the uh, armor magic you know. could have helped close that wide of a gap. Speaking True. of her armor, Urza did have more options in defense and weaponry. Unfortunately Righty. for her, she was simply yeah. outclassed Again. and damage dealt. Urza <laughs> could withstand hits of about two kilotons, like the blast which destroyed that island. But Zoro has dissed out much stronger blows than that. And dealt with a lot more pain. Two times near death, and lifting that up with a slice. That's about 6,000 times bigger Not than... Not to mention, like, Urza's a second slice fight. right down and the middle, Urza's too. And artificial eye may have seen through Zoro's Nine Sword-style illusion, it couldn't prevent Not... him from actually attacking her. She also nope. had that habit of stripping down to clear hard clothing in a bind. Yeah, it gave True. her more sword power, but at the cost of less defense. This sounded <laughs> like a good idea on paper, but close-range combat... Yeah, but Potter on the side, not the Urza best strategy. Urza was mostly self-taught, and while proficient with a blade, Zoro has mm -hmm. trained with swords all his life. Even and the best swordsman in the world, Mihawk. An up close duel was exactly what he was looking for. Yep. And she won't be getting a fairy tale ending. The winner. The winner. Roar Nora Zoro. And that's two wins for the pirates. Well, straw hat pirates. Probably should have said a foley. <laughs>
And there you go. Zoro takes the win. Oof. Sorry, Urza. Just gonna close the gap. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Till next time, like, subscribe for more. See ya.